Okay, so now that I have created my quiz that will let me, as a student, try over and over and over again, um, I'm going to go in as a student, so now I'm pretending to be Gwendolyn, this is me, okay, and I'm going to go in, I'm going to take the quiz, and I just want to show you real quickly what this kind of looks like. Because I made it resumable, I have that resume button. So the benefit is, especially with kids like with extended time or things like that, it helps them out. Now, I should say you can do short answer on this and things like that, but it will require the teacher to grade it. So if you're really wanting students to immediately get feedback on something and be able to go back and really reflect upon what they did and what they didn't do, well, that's what's going to, that's why you would want to use something like multiple choice or true false questions, something that the computer can grade. You can see that this is my review answers. Again, this is something I do as a fail safe so students don't accidentally submit. And when they're really ready, they press submit. Students who are on their devices, sometimes they can't see the submit button. They need to hold their phone in the other direction. Like if they're holding it vertically, they should try it um, horizontally. Okay. So now Gwendolyn can see, woo, she really didn't do a very good job on that quiz. So now she can start a new attempt. So I can choose to have it be unlimited or as many as I want. So let's say Gwendolyn is really looking back. She's like, okay, I got X amount of questions wrong. Let me go back and figure out which questions I got wrong, which ones did I definitely get right. You know, maybe she was just vacillating between two questions. She wasn't really sure um, which one it was. And now she's going to go through and she's going to, to be take the quiz and she's getting a chance again to review her answer so that way she doesn't accidentally submit she says yes okay oh now she's got a now she's got a 92 so now she knows oh I'm just missing one answer to one question so now when she's starting her next attempt and notice it's not telling her which what her answers were previously so if you want students to record their answers they certainly can before they submit um, you could even have it where you had a, a homework and this is just like write down the answer for question number one and they just have to pick A, B, C, or D, or what have you. And so then she can go back and she can keep going until she gets 100. So that's what I would do for this one. If it was in the case of where it was averaging scores, and I wanted Gwendolyn's, I think her original, what, was a 17 or something? I would do 17 um, plus 92 divided by 2, and that would be her score. So the averaging also, that's a nice one, a nice feature to have. I just know that I'm doing a completion um, requirement that they have to have 100 in order to go on to the next part of this event. So it's totally up to you how you do it, but once again, it's just the idea of using Schoology to improve instruction. And one of the ways we can get improve instruction is by giving immediate feedback to students and by having students genuinely work towards mastery, genuinely working towards uh, being 100% correct and not letting them be okay with a, a C or a B or even a 92. Really make them go towards 100 and I think that's a great strategy for them to have.